If you are doing a shelf art, go ahead and watch the shell video first on how to hollow that out using hand tools. But if you are now ready to cut out the profile of your car, it's gonna start actually by cutting out the profile of your drawing from your printed PDF. So go ahead and cut that out and then you are going to use that as a stencil to draw on a line that you will cut along. Once you have that line, we're gonna head on over to our good friend, the bandsaw. Now you can use either the large yellow bandsaw or the smaller jet bandsaw. Either one will do the trick. When you are doing this, especially if you have eddies or a lot of curves to your car, remember to take it nice and slow. And as you are doing this, you're gonna wanna make sure that you're using a push stick if necessary. Remember, there should always be one pretty near the bandsaw. So with this, I've got my saw guard adjusted so that it's just a little bit above the top of my wood. I can still see my blade, but I can't really get my whole hand or finger under there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start at the, ed, ed, the edge of my CO2 car. You can do it in straight sections and then come back and do the curves later. It is up to you. Again, using a push stick towards the end of that cut if you feel necessary. And that's gonna go ahead and give you the start of the profile. Now, if you do have curves and they are small curves like at the front end or the back end, you can go ahead and do those. If you are doing an eddy, I want you to watch that specific video on relief cuts.